I'm Aaron Sagers, and I'm standing here with Ellie Kendrick, who you know as Mira Reed on Game of Thrones. Season six was pretty big for you. What did uh, you think as an actor, kind of being in the center of all of that action? Uh, it was a really exciting uh, season for, for, for Mira and that storyline, I think, for me. Because as an actor, you never really get told what's going to happen next um, on Game of Thrones. So um, the first thing I knew was when I was just reading the script two weeks before we started filming it, and my jaw dropped, uh, and I, I just couldn't wait to get started on it. So it was, um, it was really cool to be involved in such a huge action sequence with all the CGI and the special effects. and. You know, um, visually, I thought like it looked amazing because um, you obviously, as an actor, you don't see all of the edits and all the effects until afterwards. So that was great. Uh, but you know, emotionally as well, this that that's that scene. You know, that episode for me has um, has a real emotional pull, and so it was lovely to be able to be a part of um, a proper goodbye, a proper send off to, to Hodor. Why why do you think the mirror is still hanging out with uh, Bran at this point? Well, yeah, Mira's really gone through uh, a lot of crap um, to get to where she, where she is uh, at the end of season six. I mean, we've seen her go through some pretty awful experiences. Um, uh, and I think that, you know, she's someone who really stands by her word. So, you know, she she said that she she's going to protect Bran because it's what her brother has said that she, you know, she needed to do. So she's going to, whatever it takes, you know, she's going to do that. Even if that is carting him on a sled across hundreds of miles of snow, She's gonna do it. So um, she's got a lot more, you know, I admire her. She's got a lot more dedication than I have because I would turn right around and go home. In the, you know, your final scene, uh, you're, you're facing down these whites and then Benjen shows up and kind of saves the day. But you guys are still, you still gotta get to the, the wall itself. You're close to it, but you still gotta get to the wall. Um, what what is What's going through her mind at that moment? I think all that's going through Mira's head is just survival. I think there's lots of emotional stuff that she's got to deal with, but now is not the time when you know you've got a, a raft of whites chasing you and a, and a, and a, a huge sled to pull across. You know the wilderness. All she's thinking of is just get get them out of there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think that she'd probably have developed some pretty uh, killer muscles because uh, if you see if you see Isaac, you know in real life he's I'm pretty small and he's like a full head taller than me. So I actually do drag him around. Wow. That is really me doing that. So <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to get a bit of a workout going on down there for, yeah, for, uh, for that to work out. But he, he, get, he, he gave me some, some new muscles. Well, before I let you go, I mean, we are standing in front of the door. We are north of the wall. And I don't want to make this uncomfortable, but uh, if you don't mind, I would like to do like a little bit of role playing, OK? okay. And you know, we have Hodor here. Yep. And really, you're the one that said, hold the door. So are there any words, any thoughts, anything you would like to say to Hodor after, you know, kind of leading him down this path? Yeah, um, Hodor, I'm so sorry that I made you hold the door. I know it wasn't a lot of fun for you. Uh, and, it, you know, awful things happened. But, y y you know, we needed you to take one for the team. So thanks for doing that for us, pal. I don't know. I don't know if he's buying it, <laughs> but that was very sincere. That was very good. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's our time. Thanks for uh, joining me and Hodor for uh, this lovely little interview. Uh, Ellie, it was a pleasure. Thanks. Thank